is up, YouTube Nation? It is your boy, C-Money, coming at you live from Casamaco. It is Friday, May 11th. Happy Dies de Mayo, as they say in Mexico. Got some Wonder Woman soundtrack going on in the background, just getting a little pumped up. Nice outfit. Because tomorrow, we are popping my 2018 Colorado in-state racing cherry. We're racing the Quad Rock 25 miler and I am very excited. It is gonna be my first race in over three months and the first race in over seven months because I've actually felt fit, confident, healthy going into a race and excited. So that is awesome. I just thought I'd check in mostly because I need something to do this afternoon. I took the day off from work to hang out with my brother. He's out birding right now. I need something to keep myself occupied for these last couple hours before I start firing up some pasta for dinner tonight. Wonder Woman's only so long. So what, so we do nothing? I've already seen the Avengers movies. Let's be Spanish. Boom! So, talking to you guys and hopefully editing will take enough time so that by the time I'm finished and have this uploaded, it's already dinner time. Yeah! So, 25 mile race, it's supposed to be a thunderstorm. It's gonna be wet, it's a super technical trail. It's literally the course profile is up and down and up and down. In the words of big timers, up and down and up we going, I believe. It's gonna be a very tough course that has 5,000 feet of elevation gain. So the plan is gonna be take it easy, see how the body feels, and if all is going well, really open it up on that last climb. If you recall, the number one piece of advice I always give myself during these races is to run your own race and tomorrow will be no exception. Yes, it would be nice to win. Yes, it would be nice to be competitive. How can you say that? What is the matter? But at the end of the day, you can't control how others are gonna feel. It's not possible. And you've got to run the best race for you. And for a lot of these trail races, that means listening to your body from the start, not going into too deep into the well too early. This is not what we came here to do. And save something for that last bit. So number one goal, finish hard feel good about it, celebrate two months of awesome training that I've put together. I think this is gonna be my first week in a while that I'm not hitting 90 miles. It's nice to feel rested, I feel energized, I didn't need to take a nap today. I am super excited. I was hoping that my brother would be able to provide some race reports for the Mako Show. But given the rain and given that there's some really rare birds in the state park. Lark Sparrow, life bird number 999. He probably won't be on the course too much, so this might be my only footage for the race. I promise to provide some updates afterwards, either via the socials or another update. Hopefully I figure out a way to make this more entertaining than me just talking with a gorgeous couch in the background. We are doing something. We are. I've got a lot of stretching apparati to attend to. Some little niggles in the bod get loosened up, so I'm feeling poppy and awesome tomorrow. All right, folks, this is the first step towards Leadville 100. Let's make it count. Take care. No, but it's what I'm going to do. Yeah!